there are places in this world where God's creation just stands out. In 2015, I volunteered for the YMCA of the Rockies. It was in Estes Park, Colorado, just right outside Rocky Mountain National Park. And it was such a wonderful experience. Housing was provided by the YMCA. The single older women got the cabins called Friendship Circle. And we had our own bedroom and bathroom, so it was really nice. We gathered and got to know each other and hiked together, and it was a lovely experience. From the sunrises to those glorious, colorful sunsets, and oh, those dark skies where you could see the stars in the Milky Way. streams everywhere. Very, very pretty. Listen to the sound. Hiking is what we did in our spare time. A group of ladies would get together and we would hike in the mornings, sometimes for hours. Uh, someone would choose the destination and off we'd go. Um, I was astounded by how much better the older ladies were of hiking than I was. <laughs> Sometimes I hiked by myself. I saw my first moose when I was out hiking by myself. And you'd run into people on the trails. Sometimes they would pass you. Sometimes they would stop and talk. Uh, sometimes I'd run into them again. And sometimes I never saw them again. And I'm thinking, how fast can they go? But it was simply fun to get together and share stories and watch the beauty uh, of the flowers and God's creation and just enjoy nature. Bull elk were a common sight at the YMCA of the Rockies. They were everywhere, and you just got used to seeing them. I volunteered at the museum for 26 hours a week, and it was a wonderful experience. We'd have porch time when we weren't busy, and these staff members became my friends. I had so much fun with them. Sweet dreams and leave my worries behind you. But in your dreams, whatever they be, dream a little dream of me.
When I first arrived at the YMCA, I saw these elk on the side of the road. I pulled my car over, jumped out and thought, oh my gosh, do people see these elk? And, and now I just have to laugh because by the time you ended in the summertime, they weren't any big deal at all. This gorgeous river was right behind our cabins down the slope. It was my favorite place to go walking. Sometimes you'd see wildlife and sometimes you'd see horse riders riding alongside the river. And you could hear this water from our cabin if you left your door or window open. This is the drive from Estes Park to Lions, and I loved going to Lions because they had a bar there where certain nights the pickers would play, and I just loved the spontaneity of it. Um, I got a lot of Colorado cars stuck behind me, and um, I would have to pull over whenever I could and let them around. And uh, there were signs that say, watch for falling rocks, and I just love this drive. You have a wall of mountains that you're going through and a river runs beside of it. And it was just gorgeous. In all, I spent 11 weeks at the YMCA of the Rockies, the summer of 2015. I loved everything about it. I loved fishing, hiking, the wildlife, the hummingbirds, the flowers, and most of all, the people.
This is Trail Ridge Road and it goes from Estes Park to Grand Lake on the other side. I was too chicken to drive it, so I was always the passenger. Um, it starts out above the tree line and uh, it closes in October due to the snowfall and it will open up again in May. And when you go in May, uh, in June, there's still snow up there because it's so high uh, and it has so much snow. Thank you for joining me as I reminisced about my trip to the YMCA of the Rockies in Estes Park. And if you ever get to Colorado, I suggest going there. It's a beautiful place and you'll make lots of beautiful memories.